What up, gang? I'm back with another video. You already read that title. You already know what's going on. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notification. It's free. Do it for me. Listen, promo alert. Promo alert. Listen, man. Royal Diamond Raffle. Royal Diamond Raffle is this company that just started. They're going to be doing raffle tickets and giving away cards. If you don't know, YouTubers already do it. Famous YouTubers, they do a raffle uh thing and they pick somebody. You pay for the raffle from 25 to 100, 200, whatever the, the price range is. You buy a raffle ticket and they just simply pick someone and give away the card. And this company, Royal Diamond Raffle, is basically doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to win this Tahoe and other cars in the future, make sure y'all go tap in. Breaking news. Breaking news. Memphis police says they have no leads to the Young Dolph case. They have no leads. All leads ended to a dead end road, man. And they looking for informants to help them solve this case. If you don't know what an informant is, an uh, informant is people on the streets that give the police information of who doing what and where they at. You feel what I'm saying? I seen the post earlier this week. It says the police issued out damn near half a million dollars to informants this year just getting information of who doing what, who breaking what crimes and where they at. So now they going to the streets. They looking for informants to help them solve this case. Now listen, it blow me because I just knew they knew what was up. I just knew, you know what I'm saying, what was, you know what I'm saying? I just knew it was over for them, you know? Now, a lot of people from Memphis know what's going on, but evidently ain't nobody really talking, you know what I'm saying? And I thought people was going to talk depending on and you know, the character of Dolph. So I thought they was really going, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you lose a good person to the in, in the community to gun violence and, and violence and stuff like this, the community do talk, you know, they do talk. So I was thinking this was going to be one of them type of cases where the community say, F this, we, we finna say something. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking it was going to be like that. Nah, nah. Nobody ain't saying nothing. So the police said they finna lead now or they finna lean towards the informants. You know what I'm saying? So basically what they gonna do, they gonna start issuing out a lot of money. They gonna start issuing out a lot of money to these informants they have on payroll to get them hardcore evidence to solve this case. You feel what I'm saying? And best believe, if they if they, if they find the right group of people and the, and the numbers right, they gonna say something. They're going to say something, but what I think, the reason why people been so quiet, because the retaliation and the murders that have been going on since Young Dolph has passed. They say about 30-some people have been killed, shot and killed. You know what I'm saying? So I think the violence after Young Dolph has passed is really shooking up the people. So that really, like, put a muzzle on the people. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't nobody's dropping like that, I think somebody would have said something. You know what I'm saying? Somebody would have said something. You know? But since it been so much of chaos and like a war zone, nobody trying to put their life in jeopardy to say something to get this case solved. But I'm going to tell you this. If the police do what they say they're going to do and lean towards them informants and they put that money out there, where well, it's worth it, they're going to get some kind of evidence. But left it up to the internet investigators. This case was already solved. This case was already solved. They knew who did it. They knew why they did it and what it was. But hey, that's all speculation. And the police don't work like that. You got to have hardcore evidence. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say, oh, this person did this. This why I look. They got this on. They got that on. I don't mean a damn thing. You know, but my thing is they need to pay more attention to that car because that car was involved in four other murders before Young Dolph. And to me, that car can't be stolen riding around the city 
for that long and it was stolen? Commit murders like that? Like, hey, that's kind of crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? A stolen car don't last that long on the street. Police gonna be done ran the tag or some unless the car was stolen from another city or state. Other than that, if that car was stolen in that city, that car don't last that long on the streets because police gonna be looking for it. So, listen, man. All I wanna say is give y'all an update. Police have no leads. None. They at ground zero with this situation right here, man. And how it's looking, Dolph case may go unsolved. Gang.